I like to be out of control and free. The only way to do that is to create environments that feel safe. I like to work out parameters and then do whatever the fuck I want. Cause it would be awesome, dude. Have you seen this place? Literally, it's about pretty much like that. Once I had a vision of how awesome it would be if I had a mansion with a pool. I always have to live where I'm recording. That's full stop. To make an LC record, I have to live there. Because otherwise I get distracted by stuff. Like, I don't want to go to work because I want to stay home and I want to make a coffee and I need to like think about something. I have to answer emails. So I, get, I don't get to work till three. This way I wake up and I'm, I'm already here, ready to go. Why would anybody go to a studio? Look how fucking awesome this place is. Cool. <laughs> cool. Was Satan in there, what happened? Good job. <laughs> No, no, it's a good job, seriously. <laughs> nice work, nice work. Everybody, pound it in, pound it in. James is great. He's a very articulate, very kind of canny, intelligent guy. And I think everybody that works with him would agree with that, you know. Also be a tremendous pain in the arse, but you know, that's to take the, the rough with the smooth, you know. No that, none of that. What's it like playing with him? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, feather boa, tea. Country gentleman, cocaine, silver pants, spaceship. Done, let's do it. It remains his project in a fundamental way, but I think we have a really nice collaboration and I really, really enjoy working with him. Obviously, this place rules. <laughs> no girls allowed. This is the modular synth club. Uh, you guys are welcome, but you're gonna have to talk about modular synths. Two weeks ago, that was a, just a big empty room with no gear in it or anything like that. James has magic this stuff, sending it from New York, hiring it here, beg borrowing and stealing equipment from people, creating this kind of very unique studio. I think that kind of energy and excitement informs the music. And I think it's going to inform the music that's created. I had a dream that there was like this guy standing over my bed, just like looking at me or whatever. And then in the morning I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? And like my cabinet doors at the end of my bedroom were like swung open, which they were locked. I don't know. Just weird shit, man. It's the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> That's exactly what I was told happens, but I haven't told him that. That's what everyone, that's what other people have said? And I didn't tell him that, I didn't tell anybody that. If you didn't win, you lost. There's no I in team. But there is one right in the middle of win. It's also in winner. Also, we're at the beginning of idiot.
action we bought is not draining. So I have to uh, wring out my underwear. Rock and roll! <laughs> Does it sound like a truck? There you go, on the cow. Badminton is badminton, but you're just trying to keep it going. You're not trying to score. And it gets better mitten, great mitten, and exquisite mitten. Oh. And good mitten is positive mitten. Oh, well, you're just trying to keep it in play. Yeah. And it gets as much fun as you can. Oh, that counts, that counts. LCD invented good mitten in Ibiza on MDMA. No, seriously. Just justified itself. You justified itself. All right. It's another oblique strategy. Don't tell me. Okay, this is one of my favorite ones, actually. Yeah. Give it's advice. deep, man. <laughs> all right, let's trade. So okay, all right, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought they were pretty, pretty appropriate ones. <laughs> champagne break, champagne break, very important in Minton. Champagne break, okay, sorry. Yeah. Wow. It's wow. like the fucking uh, the hey, orange barley at Wimbledon. <laughs> Making a record for me always brings about like a kind of really deep, panicky depression. Add the pressure of this has to happen, it has to happen now. Except that it's just a fucking record. Right now, my head is so far up my ass with like, yeah, my record. Hi. Hi, handsome. Oh, pool interview. Poo, it's a interpoo. <laughs> this is, you know, when you talk about your feelings while floating around a fucking pool in Hollywood like an asshole. Like, on the one hand, I want to say, like, calm down. You know, you'll, it'll be okay in the end. You know, but then there's a little voice that's like, well, how do you know?
my photo taken. And I'll be looking at the fucking photo frame. I always like to stand awkward or pass out. I don't have a good middle gear. If I cross your leg like this, try, try to look calm and casual. Yeah. Mm. You look very handsome from this. This is a good angle for you, kid. If only girls were eight feet tall. <laughs> I'd be fucking hot, dude. That's, I will say that I am more toxified than say when we make a record in Western Massachusetts. Hey.